Hi everyone, welcome back to my video. I'm back finally. I feel like I've been away for a month, but it's only been a week. I had a great holiday in Ireland and I've come back to do this video. Basically, I had an email from a company called Arteza. They are a really big art supplier and they emailed me and asked me if they could send me some products to review on my channel. That was like Willy Wonka himself asking me to come down and have a look around the chocolate factory and just helping myself to some chocolate. So I said, of course, I'd love to. They asked me what I was working on. I explained to them that I really wanted to do an acrylic pour and that was the next thing that I wanted to have a go at on my channel because I haven't done one yet and I still haven't done one yet. This is going to be my first ever acrylic pour. So Arteza, they sent along some products to me and they sent me some acrylics and some glitters and I'm so excited to try them. But I also have a discount code for you guys. So I will link everything in the description box below. But your discount code, you will get 10% off if you would like to order anything that I use in today's video. So I am going to put all of the links for all of the products that I use. There are three things that they've sent me. And yeah, I'm so excited to get started. So let's get into it. I have got a massive, it's so heavy, oh my goodness. It's a 60 pack of acrylic colors, premium acrylics. They are non-toxic paints. The color choices on the back here, I mean, yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited by all of these greens and blues. Blue is my favorite color. Super excited about those. And these ones here, they sent me a pack of 36 metallic acrylic colors as well. Again, premium acrylics, color choices. Oh my goodness, I am gonna be opening these up in a second to show you what they look like inside. The final package they sent me was this pack of 54 glitter jars. So excited for these. It says here, non-toxic, extra fine, and easy pour from the jar. So the lid, basically, oh my goodness. Wow, okay, so they come in little individual trays, like so. So you've got all of your blues. Oh gosh. I'm loving this cerulean. I'm oh, gonna greens. Look at those greens. I think I'm gonna use some of these definitely in today's DIY because these really would go with my living room. So they're all your greens. Oh, more greens. Going into the olives and the limes and browns. Lots of browns there. I love the way these are stored actually. Well done, our teaser. That's a plus point from myself. Um, so then we've got um, browns and we've got silver, grey, cold grey and grey. So it's kind of handy having three of those. Oh my, so many. Um, yeah, loads of yellows. Even more yellows moving up into the oranges. <laughs> this is literally a whole rainbow of colours here. Oranges moving up into the reds. Dark reds, burgundies moving up into the browns and then into the pinks. All oh, these colours are pretty. And then finally, pinks, pale pinks, peaches moving up into the lilacs and into the dark purples. Guys, there's seriously a lot of colours here. So that is a definitely a plus point for me. You know, I went onto the website and I looked at everything they had and the sheer amount of paint you get in this one kit, I have to say. Loving it, Arteza, loving it. So I'm going to put those back for now them to one side and I'm going to have a look at the acrylic colours. It looks like the acrylic colours are pretty much similar to the other box but maybe not as many obviously because it's only 36 as opposed to 60 but ugh. let's have a go at this one see how they are. Oh, so they're stored in exactly the same way so they've got the little trays here all the colours you could poss oh my goodness look at these ones See, this is why blue is one of my favourite colours. The colours, oh my goodness, loving those. I'm looking forward to using those as well. I think in the video today, I'm going to kind of like do a mixture of the um, plain acrylics and also mix in with the metallics just to see how they work. So yeah, you've got all the colours there. So in the metallic box, you get three layers of colours. So one, two, three. And then in the big box, you get a lot more. Okay, so this is the glitter box. It's really um, trying to work out how I open this one now. Okay, it's a side open. And then, aha, 
just slides out. Oh my goodness me. Okay, so we've got a lot of glitters here. Now, I've just seen the, let me turn them up, see all the deliciousness underneath. You see those colours? Absolutely tons of colours in there. Probably every colour you could possibly want for any glitter. Now, I've just seen on the packaging as well, they have UVs. So they have some neons. Oh my goodness, gorgeous. But I am so excited by the greens and the blues. And it is super fine, actually. Really fine glitter. But remember to be careful with your glitter, people. We do not want this ending up in the sink, you know, down the drains. Absolutely gorgeous. I mean, these colours just go on and on. We've got hot neon pink. Neon pink. Yeah, tons and tons and tons. But here is an idea, really, of all the colours you get. And you've got loads. So as far as packaging goes and what you get for your money, there's tons here. I don't think I'll probably need another acrylic paint for a long while to come. And these glitters, I think, are just going to go so, so far. There's tons there. So that's definitely a plus from me. So now, yeah, gonna start using these puppies. So I'm using today a canvas. I have seen loads of people use canvases or boards and I know canvases can sag in the middle. So I've actually added some um, cardboard just to reinforce the center of the canvas, just to stop it from sagging. And I've given the canvas a coat um, of primer just so it's ready for the pour. Oh, so excited. What I also did purchase outside um, from Amazon was some flow troll so the amount of videos I've watched honestly everybody uses this stuff so I figured I would buy some this is basically going to dilute them but not change the color and make them more liquidy and that's where you're getting your pour from so I'm going to be putting this one into every cup that I'm using the last thing I'm going to use is my heat gun now I did get this one as well from Amazon but yeah hopefully it will do the job at blowing all of that around we shall see. So the colours I'm using in today's video, oh my goodness, these are gorgeous. So we've got Viridian Green. This is, oh, focus camera, hello. Viridian Green, my living room is dark blues, greens, greys, those kind of colours. I'm using a deep green. I'm using Cerulean Blue, which is another, my camera, come on. And I'm using Prussian Blue. This one looks lush. So what excited me about their metallics is they've got copper, bronze and gold. And copper I am still in love with since a video I did a long while ago. But check this out. So actually the label doesn't really do it justice. It doesn't really, you know, look metallic-y. But I had a squeeze. Check this colour out. Look at this. I'm loving that and I am so excited to try this. And the bronze is just as shimmery and shiny. So for the metallic paints, I'm using that copper. I'm using the bronze. I am going to be using metallic pearl sea green and metallic pearl olive green. Sorry, the camera's not really focusing very well. I am going to be putting a white base on this canvas and I'm going to need a lot of white. So actually I decided to use my own white acrylic for this. It's just a cheaper acrylic because I knew I needed a lot and I didn't want to have a whole tube or use a whole tube of Arteza just for the base. So I did use my own white acrylic for this and I've added the flow troll already. So I would say I squeezed a big kind of like dollop into the bottom of the jug to around about here not tons and then added the flow troll until it completely blended stirred it and stirred it for a good five minutes until it just looks like a watery white paint and that's what i'm going to be using for the base okay so i've got my eight cups i'm going to use four normal acrylics and four metallics so we're going to see how these go i'm basically going to squeeze about that much into each cup if you can see that it's not that much this is the green metallic it's gorgeous so I'm going to squeeze that much into each cup and then do the exactly the same with the four metallics at the front oh my the shine on these is quite something 
and then the four plain at the back. So the next step for this process is to just add the flow troll. I have to say that I found quite a few lumps in this already, just mixing the white. So that's kind of annoying, but I am going to just pour a small amount into each pot and get to mixing. colours mix they all pretty much have stayed true to colour and I think if they go paler you just have to add more paint it's really not the flow trial it's the fact that you're diluting it so that's definitely something I've learned today now the fun begins because we are going to finally do the pour and yeah this is my first one guys so <laughs> so the plan is I'm gonna cover this with the white and then we're gonna pour each colour individually in the same spot really no rules most of this really is inspired by Tam at Tam's Crafty Corner because I've been watching her acrylic pour videos and quite frankly, I'm in love with them. So I told her, if I do an acrylic pour, I am literally, you know, <laughs> imitation. I'm going straight for a Tam and that's my plan. Pouring. I'm gonna really not <laughs> not go in any particular order I'm just gonna give the pot a stir and then as I go here in the corner I really want it to be a circle in the corner here and I'm gonna add on top of that the next color that I feel is gonna be good contrast Right now, this heat gun is rubbish. I'm gonna go and grab my hairdryer. absolutely loving this effect I actually did go ahead and add a little bit of water to each cup I think I probably should have done that in the beginning they started um, going they were a bit too hard to move around but my hairdryer is powerful and it's literally blown them all around I am gonna get a close-up afterwards the metallic paint is popping on this I'm gonna start up there now left hand corner and not meet it in the middle but just bring some onto that corner but I have watered down the paints. So just to let you know, I've probably put a tablespoon of water in each cup.
gosh, that was fun, I have to say. It looks a little bit messy in places, but for my first ever acrylic pour, I am loving it. What I do love is the definition between these paints. They haven't blended at all. They haven't gone murky and muddy, and you can clearly see the copper coming out here, the dark blue, the greens all flowing in together. Honestly, it just reminds me of another seascape. Um, yeah, planet Earth. <laughs> This bit here looks like I've added some glitter, but these are cells. So once you heat it up, cells do appear. I wasn't really going for cells, but they've come anyway, and they're kind of pretty. Yeah, this side, um, definitely, I think I prefer this side, but I am loving the greens and the golds here, or the copper, just loving. And you can see some copper cells coming out there. Oh, love. I love, I love the way it flows around here. I just absolutely love it. I've really enjoyed this. The problem is with acrylic pouring, I feel like I could be here for the rest of the day because you just blow it around, you add a bit more, you, you, you know, you, you just see how it evolves and then you're not happy with the way it's going, so you add some more and yeah, it, I can see this being quite addictive. But yeah, for my first ever acrylic pour, I'm super happy. I've definitely learned some things. I have definitely learned that I need to add some water into each colour. And I'm pretty sure I've seen people do it. I'm pretty sure Tam does it as well. Just didn't do it. I didn't think. And of course that um, just makes it even more watery and fluid. So it allows it to flow around the canvas. I definitely, when I mix the white need to add some water into that as well. That's definitely lesson number one. Lesson number two buy a decent heat gun. I literally only just bought this one that I have for my resin. I, it literally didn't even move the paint, not even a millimeter. So lesson number two, definitely buy a new heat gun. <laughs> or send this one back because it's rubbish. Um, yeah, so that is it from me. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you've made it this far, congratulations. Honestly, using them has been easy. They blended nicely. You can definitely see the way they've worked in a, an acrylic pour. You can see the definition between the colours. There's no real murky muddiness going on. I'm loving the way this is kind of splattered over there. But the paints were easy to use. They were quite um, blendable. And yeah, I really like them. So I'm super chuffed. <laughs> But yeah, if you would like 10% off, if you think you'd like this product, then definitely go ahead, check out the description box below. You get 10% off with Claire's Crafty Corner 1. That is your code for your 10% discount. Remember the links I've put in the description box below, they are affiliate links, which means I get a little kickback if you do decide to go ahead and purchase any of these products. I haven't used the glitter today, but I am going to be using that in a video next weekend and the same code will apply. So I will make sure that, you know, that code is available to you guys until the 23rd of September. So you've got around about a month if you would like to get your discount on these at the moment. But yeah, I'm so happy I finally tried it. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to sign off now. Thanks for watching, guys. It's been fun. I've had so much fun. I could carry on all day. But I will see you in the next video. Bye.